caught being on tag, you, you can cope with a lot of stuff. You get used to it. Everyone has to fight for it to survive. Going to housing, because I need to sort out a gaff as quick as possible, because I'm getting kicked out. The joys of food bank. That's how you've got to survive nowadays. Political bullshit. Do you sometimes carry weapons? A metal pole. Easy to get out, easy to scare someone with. Yeah, I'll be there in two minutes, bro. All right, see you soon. Jordan was in care for eight years, but recently turned 18 and was moved into supported housing. Nice dreadful in the morning. Well, it's not really morning, is it? Five o'clock, mate. Oh, well, it's a me up for a bit. But today, he's been locked out of his flat because he was involved in a fight. Are you going to have to break the door, then? Potentially. I was in the neighbours. If I don't go into that property at 9 o'clock, then the tag's going to go off and I'll probably end up getting arrested. Jordan needs his support worker to let him back into the flat so he can stick to his tag curfew. I was wondering where you were. Let me into my flat. Are you going to let me in? I'm not moving to St. Helens, mate. Why the fuck would I want to move out of my own town? Get me a property in Warrington. If you don't let me back in this property, then my tag's going to go off and you're going to get in trouble for it because you will be responsible for it. Because it's not like you can just unplug the fucking box and take it somewhere else like it's nothing. You have to go through court to move someone. In Crown Court, because that's what they said, in court. Dickhead. I'm not being moved around like a piece of meat. He's going to be ringing his superiors. I'm going to stand here until he does that. I'm going to throw a biscuit at his head. I'm going to buzz all the buzzers. I've locked myself out. Thank you. Go on, lad! <laughs> what happened last night? They came in with hammers, threatening me. I got it out of his hand, chucked it out the window, and then they both left, and that was about it. But they seem to think that I'm in loads of danger because of it. Which I'm not. Being moved for my own protection, apparently. That's, that's what I'm being told. Because people have been to this house trying to start shit with me. I'm not moving. That's not going to happen. It's my castle. I'm going to defend it. <laughs> Kian is coming to the end of his 12 weeks on tag, and it's meant to be removed in the next few days. But there's a problem. My tag snapped. Right, speak to you soon. Fair babe, fair. My tag snapped. What do we do with that? Ah, it's all stuck in my sock. Aim it, move. Get it off? Yeah. No, it snapped off. Never lies. But at least you're an honest lad, because any other kid would have fucked off by then. What do you think they'll do, Ken? Do you think they'll come out and. Stick me on it for longer. What it is, is my tag snapped. All right. Hey, right, Jar Jar. Oh, it's pissed me off, that. So what had happened? I was peddling my mate's bike here. And if you have a look here, that got caught on my tag. And then as I pushed my foot down, the tag's come up and it snapped off. I'll probably get arrested tonight or tomorrow. You seem pretty pissed off. I am because of the, for the fact I'm going to get done for something that isn't my fault. Yeah, what you said? Someone's coming out after me curfew. If they think they're arresting me tonight. How could they class it as a breach? If uh -oh. you've not breached anything, that's broke. So it's not going to be a breach, is it? Mm -hmm. Best not be. It won't be unless you put it out down because I'm talking about these days. <laughs> <laughs> After eight o'clock. Feels good not to have that on my ankle. Fuck, are you free? Sure, no, you're not. They'll be out soon if it put it back out. Oh, don't start saying that, Mum. You know, if you turn up and put it back on, I'll go, Mum. Yeah, but you're not going to see me again. You reckon they'll put a new one on? 
Yeah. Fucking all. I think they do. I hope they do. So it keeps them in then, doesn't it? Fuck off. <laughs> no. Yeah, it keeps you in. Oh, go off. Tough shit because you're on time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not because it's not round my ankle. Yeah, it will be when they come and put it back on. Oh, don't say that because I'll fuck off out now. <laughs> He's not nipping no shot. Yeah. No, Kian. Get in now. Oh, oh, get in. Although Kian's tag has snapped off, if he's caught outside his home after hours, he'll be arrested. It's like more corned beef. Keeps the fucking food in the belly anyway. Tommy has six days before he has to go to court and has been living off food from a food bank. Now, not another fucking washing up liquid. Mm -hmm. Happy fucking days, that's it now. Everything's, everything's looking good again, as it always does. I'll drink my sister. Hi, Estelle. Tommy's solicitor has called with an update on his court hearing. Do you think I'm going to get slammed, Estelle? Do I need to bring a bag with me? So, will I, yeah. I'm, I'm, what, I'm, what, what, how many years do you reckon it'll be? Well, f five years. Will I? Fuck, see. I know it's a robbery, but you know I didn't rob the fucking shop, though, don't you? Fucking hell. The solicitor has told him there's a good chance he might go down for the robbery charge, and that could mean five years in prison. Oh, hey, Sasha, fucking LA. Fat fucking shit. It's nice down here, it's a nice little show in the summer. If we get a fucking summer. Then I did. It's all going on the jury. It's going on nothing else. You know, if the jury, if the jury persuade, like, make out that I'm a robber, then obviously I'm going to get jailed. Have you thought about how that might affect your PTSD? That'll be the last thing I think about. That, that just comes with the shit, you know what I mean? But anything can trigger it off. Sometimes it could be rage, sometimes it could be like fear, it could be like loud bangs, it all depends. It's not just the armed forces, it was a number of things, a number of episodes, so they say in my life. The army though, I think that was like the icing on the cake basically. Everything's scary. Whoever says it's not, just chatting shit. It's 11 p.m. and the tag monitoring team have arrived at Kian's house. I've got about a week left on my tag. If they end up putting me back on tag, I'll just end up biting it off. I don't think they're going to believe the reason. If the police come down later tonight, I will generally be gone out at the window. What's happened? Tag's come off, staying off. You took the tag and the box and everything? Yeah. He's a free man. I'm actually going with my mates at one o'clock, I've told him. You're going straight back out? Yep, straight back out. The tag team decided that because Kian was so close to the end of his sentence, they wouldn't put the tag back on. You happy? Yeah, free him off. Because I'm moving, and y'all going to come meet me when I move. Jordan is being moved out of his flat because of threats of violence. But violence is nothing new to him. You get addicted to it. It's like a drug fight. You start thinking, like, if I, if I get hurt, so what? I'm having a fight. 
part of fighting. You're trying to hurt each other. The sense of relief after it is the relief that, like, obviously, they're not going to cause you problems anymore. You've overpowered them. You've shown them that you're not going to fuck about with them and they don't want to get hurt most of the time. One of my best friends died in my arms in Manchester from a stab wound. He got, he got stabbed in, like, the city centre and he made it all the way to my old house before he collapsed. Called paramedics, he, he died before they got there. How often would you say you get him in fights? More often than I should, maybe once every two, two, three days. You have to prove that you're not some sort of muppet and that you're not going to get pushed around. Oh, <laughs> is this one bit? Kian's tag is off, but he still has to go to meetings with the youth offending team. If he doesn't go, he could end up in court or even back on tag. I've just squashed near enough two crates in this bag and a towel and shorts and the top. But Kian has other plans. It's got a bit of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where you're supposed to be. I was meant to be in yacht at three, but then I just I'd rather spend time with my family. Going swimming. Going swimming. What are you going to tell the yacht? Don't know. Can't get time. So I couldn't. What do you think about him missing his yacht meeting, Laura? He's not my kid. Can you see? I was on to a possession of bladed article, and then I've got another court date coming up for fucking being in a stolen car. At first, I didn't know the car was stolen, but then he put his foot down in there as soon as he saw a plod. He crashed, and then I've tried to bail out of the car. I smashed all my leg in and bruised all my tendons in my leg, so I couldn't really get, get very far. When I'm up in court, I'm hoping he either slap me with more tag, which, I'm not going to lie, it will piss me off and I will generally bite it off, or prison in there. They are basically the possible outcomes. Shout out to on this movie. Being down Blue Lagoon gives me like a really good feeling, like where I feel free. You don't have to worry about getting any shit or nothing. Everything goes blank and you just feel f happy as fuck. Absolutely fucking brilliant. If I get slammed, then uh, all this will just get binned, you know what I mean? Across town, Tommy is preparing for prison by selling the contents of his flat. I'm in court on Monday and I reckon I'm going to get slammed, like. Basically, it'll be the cooker, that freezer, okay. that chest, that washing machine, table and chairs there, and two beds. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. The table would be interested in. The couches, I wouldn't be interested in. I know it's not going to be loads of money. I know it's going to be loads of I money. Need a tanner for the washer, I'd say. Is that what it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Nice. Well, you want to hundred out with me? Yeah. No, because I need to do some. I've got. Yeah, come back tomorrow. That'd be better for me, mate. Right, yeah. Tomorrow. Because I get all my stuff washed then. You see. It's got to go anyway, and it's so. Okay. You know what I mean? Right, so nice what are you one. going back to? Are you going back to court for you? A trial, mate. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be so daunting. I'm thinking that you, you're going to get locked up. Well, yeah, well, I'm just thinking of the worst, mate. That's what, what I've been told. If you don't get locked up and I took your washing machine off you, you're yeah. going to need a washing machine. Yeah, that's true, yeah. And I'll be back buying it off you. Yeah, 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 I will do, yeah. yeah, yeah. But if it comes to that, like, you know, it gets, uh, gets stressful. Yeah. You know, all right, I'll get you done. Nice to see you. All right, to that, lad. Oh, I've been 
Yeah, Shit. Yeah, I'm a bit drunk. We're outside James Lee, which is where I'm living at the moment, unfortunately. It's a homeless shelter. It's not like prison where you get padded up with other people. There's about maybe about 10 people on my landing that all, all use the same shower and it's all mouldy and stuff, it's horrible. You coming down now? It's 11.30 p.m. and Jordan's tag curfew started at nine. All right, go on. But being in a homeless shelter means the only way that the authorities will know that he's broken his curfew is if he's caught outside by the police. Brandy and Coke, mate. And it's really strong. I don't know why he made it that strong. <laughs> I'm going to be falling over tonight, seriously. How did you get money? I got my UC payment today, my advance payment, £251, and I've got £60 left of it. Because <laughs> I went to buy some clothes today. UC is universal credit, you get paid once a month, so you've got to make it last year. Like, if there's anyone watching that's on UC, Make it last you the month, mate, because you're fucked if you don't. Bro, get in that trolley now, I'll push you around in it. Best out of three. Yes. Oh, fuck. One off. Yes. Oh, fuck. Right, get I'm in that in. trolley, motherfucker. Come on, come on. Yeah. Sit forward. Yeah. Wait. Go on. We're going, bro. I'm ditching you. Ah, I'm fucking out. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> It's your turn now. I can't get you. Fuck you, now. Hey, that was a trust exercise, that so, was. Uh, that's how we get around. That's how you know. That's how you know. Right, come on, let's go. Come with us, mate. Best night out in Warrington. <laughs> One minute, one minute, one minute, seriously, oh, bro. Being bro, I'm breaching my tag right now. Oh, yeah. Fucking police again, mate. So you likes in other people's hands, isn't it? Got a big fucking day ahead of me. If you don't go to jail today, I'm gonna run round Crown Court naked. <laughs>